Soul Worker. Soul Worker is a dungeon color anime RPG. When this game first released, everyone was super crazy about it because of the visual and the art style of this game. The gameplay feels impactful with a lot of combos and appealing sound design. And there are people still playing this game once in a while. But the dungeon crawling aspect of the game is kind of outdated. And the quest system is just repeating the same dungeon over and over again. Can be quite repetitive at times, but suffice to say, it is an old school MMORPG that you can play in 2024, and it is quite fun. Closers. Closers is an MMORPG that is pretty similar to Elseworld, Grain Chase, or any side scrolling, but it is in 3D. You can move up and down. Gameplay wise, it is kinda nice. It's appealing. You can do some insane combos like you see now in the video. It is quite similar to Black Desert if you have played Black Desert. And the visual is kind of appealing if you are into old school anime MMORPG. But I have to be honest with you that this game is not my cup of tea, but there is a bunch of fun things to do in this game. So yeah, closers. And of course, it is on Steam. Lost Ark is an awesome MMORPG with a mix of everything like epic battles, exploration, and a gorgeous open world. You cannot deny that. And the gameplay is real-time combat that lets you pull off some epic and insane combos. There's class for everyone, whether you are into close, brawling, or casting magic spells. The game's world is huge with breathtaking landscapes, making every quest feels like an adventure. If you're all about teaming up with your friends, the dungeons and raids are seriously insane. Especially if you play this for the first time, man. And if you're feeling competitive, you can jump into PvP arenas and, you know, show off your skills. The graphics for this game is stunning. Because this game is made by Unreal Engine 3 and an Unreal Engine 3 MMORPG that is looking like this, it's insane. And of course, the regular updates bringing in new stuff. Lost Ark never gets old. Well, there's one thing that I don't like though. The dailies can be quite tiring at times, but nonetheless, Lost Ark, you will have a good time playing this game. the classic maple story what else do you want me to say it's maple story okay you know what there is something to say about this game well it is a 2d side scrolling if you don't know already so visually captivating graphics featuring vibrant landscapes and charming characters create an immersive experience that resonates with players since its inception in 2003 maple story's commitment to regular updates introduces new classes and features ensuring a dynamic and engaging environment. Its enduring popularity is a testament to game's ability to provide compelling mix of nostalgia, captivating adventures, and continuous innovation with all the new job system and stuff. So yeah, MapleStory is a very good MMORPG to play right now in 2024, which is insane. Wow, 20 years already. The heart of our story will always be the extraordinary hero living inside you. Everything to protect the future of Regna. Blue Protocol. Unfortunately, this game is only available in Japan, but you can download this game using a VPN from anywhere you are. Even if you are living in USA, Philippines, 
China, I don't know about China, I know, but yeah. But you can download this game with a VPN outside Japan. Well, this game is pretty good. It is pretty solid, um, thanks to its anime style graphics that make everything look stunning. The combat is fast and keeps you on your toes. Plus, teaming up with your friends for multiplayer adventures in a diverse fantasy world is a blast. Bandai Namco, or Bemco for short, is quite good at bringing this MMORPG, adding some games quality and overall it's a cool mix of visuals, action and teamwork that you all actually like. And this game is challenging, very challenging. I forgot to mention that if you are having a hard time playing this game in Japan, there is a translator for this game but it can get you banned. But if you shut up and don't talk about it, I think it's fine. You can play this in English, and yes, I did play this in English. Pan of Exile. Now I know this is not a typical MMORPG or you can say it is not an MMORPG. I know it's more like an action RPG but Pet of Exile is a captivating and immersive action RPG set in a dark world of Reclass. Okay, I don't know how to spell it but yeah. Okay, it's this game is just amazing from the free to play aspect and no pay to win stuff and the unique gem system, extensive passive skill tree. Oh my god. Not to mention the challenging combat this game has to offer and the free to play guys. Again, the free to play model and with no pay ups uh, for the next expansion. This game is awesome. Excellent. Mwah. Black Desert Online. Black Desert Online is an MMORPG that sets itself apart with stunning visuals, amazing character customization, and dynamic skill-based combat. This game is developed by Prolabist. The game's expansive world includes diverse landscape, offering engaging activities such as fishing and trading, with challenging PvE content and intense PvP encounters. Yes, the PvP in this game is absolutely top tier, same as Lost Ark making it a standout title in the genre. Grain Chase. Ah, my first MMORPG when I was a kid. Green Chase is very nostalgic to me and a fun time through and through. I know it is an old game. I mean, just take a look at the graphics, man. It's not that appealing. Well, you know what? It is appealing. That is why I played this game for over like 500 hours, maybe, you know, back in the day. I know it should be more, but hey, this game can keep you company for like two hours and then you're good, you know? And then the next day you'll play it again for two hours and then done. It starts a bit slow but very addicting and if you are in the higher level of the stages of I mean of this game man the game is challenging very very challenging this game is being updated regularly and there's a new character too so if you are into for nostalgic trip down memory lane like you are in the 2000s then this game will suit you the best I still play this game once in a while just to kill some time and I am still having a lot of fun playing this game, even though it is quite grindy at times. L Sword. Yes, this game is seriously awesome for a bunch of reasons. First off, the anime style graphics are top notch. The combat system is a blast. You're not just smashing buttons. Well, I think if you're in the top tier level, I think you're just smashing buttons. But then again, you're pulling off these insane combos that feel super satisfying and rewarding. And speaking of combos, the diverse cast of characters 
each bring something unique. You can find the one that matches your playstyle and the devs are always dropping in some new stuff to keep the game fresh. I mean until this day this game is still being updated and adding some new players over and over again and even a new job system like a new job level and god damn man god damn it's amazing seriously though elsewhere is a game it's an mmorpg that cannot die it just cannot die and you will have a lot of fun playing this game especially if you do like anime mmorpg <laughs> Yeah.